In this question, we're given two functions f and g. We're told that f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 1 for all values of x greater than 0, and we're told that g of x is equal to 4 over x squared, and again for all values of x greater than 0. In part a, we need to work out gf1. Now let's consider what this means. gf1 is the same as g of f of 1. We can write this in a slightly different way gf1 can be written as g of f of 1, like we said. And so we can start by finding f of 1. Now we know that f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 1. And so to find f1, we're going to replace x with 1. If f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 1, f of 1 is equal to 3 multiplied by 1 squared plus 1. Now 3 multiplied by 1 squared is equal to 3, and then add 1 is equal to 4. And so we found that f of 1 is equal to 4. But now we were asked to find g of f of 1. Since we already know that f of 1 is equal to 4, we're just finding g 4. And so we'll apply the same principle again. Now we know that g of x is equal to 4 over x squared. Since we're finding g 4, we're going to replace every x with a 4. And so if g of x is equal to 4 over x squared, g of 4 would be equal to 4 over 4 squared. 4 squared is equal to 16, so this is equal to 4 out of 16. And simplifying this fraction, we can say that g of 4 is equal to 1 out of 4. And so we've successfully found that gf1 is equal to 1 out of 4. Now in part b, we're told that the function h is such that h is equal to fg to the minus 1. And so we need to find the function hx. Now the first thing that we can identify is that fg to the minus 1 is the inverse function of f of g. And so in order to solve this problem, we can start by finding f of g, and then we can find the inverse in order to find the function h. Now we know that f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 1. And so to find f of g, well if g is equal to 4 out of x squared, we're finding f of 4 out of x squared. And so using this function, we need to replace every single x with a 4 out of x squared. And so f of 4 out of x squared is equal to 3 multiplied by 4 out of x squared all squared plus 1. And so you can see that where there was an x, we replaced it with 4 out of x squared. Now let's begin to simplify. 4 out of x squared all squared would be equal to 16 out of x to the power of 4. And so f of 4 out of x squared would be equal to 3 multiplied by 16 over x to the power of 4 plus 1. 3 multiplied by 16 is equal to 48, and so 3 multiplied by 16 over x to the power of 4 is equal to 48 out of x to the power of 4. And so we can say that f of g is equal to 48 over x to the power of 4 plus 1. And so we've now found the value of f of g. We need to find fg to the minus 1, which is the inverse of f of g. And so we need to find the inverse function of 48 over x to the power of 4 plus 1. And now in order to find the inverse, we're going to let y equal 48 over x to the power of 4 plus 1. And so this method is always the best way to find the inverse of a function. We replace the function with y, and then we need to make x a subject. So we said that y is equal to 48 over x to the power of 4 plus 1, and now we need to make x a subject. We can start by moving the 1 over to the left hand side, and we'll say that y minus 1 is equal to 48 over x to the power of 4. We can now multiply both sides by x to the power of 4, and say that x to the power of 4 multiplied by y minus 1 is equal to 48. Now to make x to the power of 4 the subject, we can divide both the left hand side and the right hand side by y minus 1. And so x to the power of 4 is equal to 48 divided by y minus 1. And now finally, to make x the subject, we can take the fourth root of both sides. The fourth root of x to the power of 4 is just equal to x and the fourth root of 48 over y minus 1 is just equal to the fourth root of 48 over y minus 1. And so we've found that x is equal to the fourth root of 48 over y minus 1. But now remember that we're finding the inverse function of f of g. Now that we've made x a subject, we can swap the y with an x, and we can swap the x with the inverse function. And the inverse function is equal to fg to the minus 1. 
And so we can say that fg to the minus 1 is equal to the fourth root of 48 over x minus 1. And so we've now found that the function h of x is equal to the fourth root of 48 over x minus 1. Now this question is worth six marks. We get the first mark in part a for saying that f of 1 is equal to 4. And we get the second mark in part a for finding g of 4 and for therefore finding that g f 1 is equal to 1 out of 4. We get the third mark in part b for finding f of g which we said is equal to 48 over x to the power of 4 plus 1. We get the fourth mark for a process to find the inverse of f of g and for setting up the equation y equals 48 over x to the power of 4 plus 1. We get the fifth mark for rearranging in order to find that x to the power of 4 is equal to 48 over y minus 1. And we get the sixth and final mark for using all of this in order to find that the inverse function of f of g is equal to the fourth root of 48 over x minus 1 allowing us to get the full six marks needed in this question.